Pepe Gordon. Call them Bedla. Bedla Jedla. That's the name of it. Bedla Jedla. That's the Czech word, Czech name for this type of mushroom. I think it's related to the regular mushrooms, you know. It's very like the Czech champion. <laughs> Tak by nás to ještě neviděl. Aha, já jsem to dala i ten, že jsem to dala. Ale nemůže to být už kumul tak připravenovaný. Já bych chtěl. 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 Já bych in this country, it's a national pastime, you know, to pick mushrooms and stuff. Yeah, it's a family, and it goes for generations, you know. It's a pastime, you go to the fields, go to the forest. We ate in our family, but yeah. every taste different. We did go for this green, green one, apart also. But green, uh, chermena, uh, red is not so good. But some people do. You can always tell a rustler; they have different cell structure than all the other mushrooms. They have little round cellular structure. So when you take the cap, this one's kind of old, and bend it back. Listen, you hear it? The crunches? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real common with the bristle. Okay. The bristle is when you, they have a different cell structure, okay. so it's round. So when you bend it back, it crunches. Oh, okay. So when you throw it at a tree. It shatters. Huh. Every time. Augustina gave me half the mushrooms to eat. The sun had not yet gone down, and when I started to feel some effects, she closed us into the ceremonial hut, lit a candle, and began to pray. Did Maria Sabina say that the mushrooms no longer spoke Mazatec but only Spanish? The gods now contacted through the names of Catholic saints? I think of my own grandparents out of Eastern Europe, how much of their culture lost between them and me. By looking around, I see mushroom lovers, seekers, and growers everywhere, acting on natural and primal attractions for means of nourishment, death, and travel to inner and outer realms. From a national pastime to a sacred practice hidden from Western eyes for so long, to the Far East Asia, where even more are mushrooms regarded for their medicinal and hence sacred value. Especially if you live in an area where there's lots of mushrooms, like the Catskills. Yeah. 
All right, I like the Olympic Range in Washington. You notice, you notice those mushrooms. I know I'm always getting calls from people wanting to know about mushrooms and have taught many classes. Even if they don't want to eat them, they just want to know, yes. what are these things? And I think that these life forms resident throughout the universe that we will come to find, a lot of them will be very, very similar uh, to what we see on this planet. And I think the filamentous organisms in general will be something that will be seen elsewhere in the cosmos. And I'd love to state this publicly if you've proven wrong, but I believe that fungi exist throughout the universe. And, uh, and they are a lot more prevalent and important within our ecosystem uh, than we, we actually realize.